In this video, I'll show you how to design and model a commercial system in under four minutes on Helioscope. We start by creating a project. Enter the name of the project and also the street address. And the map will automatically center itself on that address. Confirm you've got the right location, recenter the map, and hit create. We're then taken to the project home where we can create our first design. We're automatically taken into the designer where we begin with the mechanical layout. We create a field segment by clicking points on the map to create a shape where the modules should go. We then choose the module, confirm the orientation and racking design, and hit update to have the field segment populate with modules. We can now tweak the azimuth to make the modules in line with the building, and fine tune the actual field segment itself to work around obstructions on the rooftop. Notice that every line segment has a gray circle in the center of it. That circle can be clicked and dragged to create a new point, which will then either expand or shrink the field segment. And then as we hit update the field segment, it will redraw the modules inside the new shape. Now that we've completed the first field segment, I move over to the western building to create a second field segment. Note that as we complete that shape, it's going to populate based on the assumptions of the first, the same module, the same orientation, the same racking design. And finally, I create a third field segment on the southwestern portion of the building. And once again, it's going to populate with the same assumptions as the first two. In this case, I'm going to have to tweak the design to fine tune the exact module layout that I want to get. At this point, we're done with the mechanical and we switch to electrical. In this case, I'm going to break the system up into two wiring zones one for the western part of the roof with two field segments and the other for the east. In the electrical design I choose the inverter and quantity, leave the conductor defaults, and hit generate wire. The modules are automatically assigned to strings and the wires connect each string to each inverter. I can now move around the inverters and as I do it's going to be automatically rerouting the conductors from each string to each inverter. I now move to the eastern array and do the same thing. Choose the inverter and quantity, Generate wiring so modules are assigned to strings, and then move the inverters to the location where they're going to be installed. We're now done with the design, so for the final step, we hit Save Design to upload all the detail to the servers. We can then inspect the design details by going back up to the project level, clicking on the design, and taking a look at the bill of materials, including the modules, wires, and inverters. Next, we move to the condition set, where we click the blue button to create a new one. I now choose the appropriate weather file and rename the condition set accordingly. And I'll leave the default assumptions for shading, soiling, and cell temperature. And on the mismatch page, I'm going to readjust the module manufacturing tolerance to account for my positive tolerance modules. I create the condition set, and now it's time to run the simulation. Once the simulation is complete, I can toggle through the different summary metrics before clicking on the report itself to view it in detail. The full report shows a summary of the energy production for the system, breaks it down by month and also by the various system losses, and at the bottom of the report shows a full bill of materials with the full set of modules, wires, and inverters. And that's it, a complete commercial design and performance model in under four minutes.